Okay, so I've already done a load of SD card speed tests on the Raspberry Pi 4, um, but I've only tested one card on the Raspberry Pi 5, and I did get some good results from this Samsung Evo Select, which is an A2 V30 card, but I've now got a Samsung 128 Pro Plus, which is talking about some really good speeds. They were cheap on Black Friday, so I thought I'd try it out. I bought two of them. So let's flash a fresh operating system to this and get speed testing. Okay, let's pop this in and write a fresh copy of Raspberry Pi OS with Imager. So choose device. We now have Raspberry Pi 5 as an option on here now. Uh, so 64-bit, choose storage, and this is my SD card, and next. And I'm not going to change any settings. Okay, so that's all updated. Let's hit restart. So the last SD card speed test I did on the Pi 5 was this one on the Samsung 128 that I mentioned at the start, the Evo Select and I've got the speed test from that here. The Evo Select on the Pi 4 was slower than it was on the Pi 5. The Pi 5 has the potential to be double the speed on the SD card slot. It wasn't double the speed in this, but it was a big improvement from the Pi 4 to the Pi 5. But I'm now gonna start concentrating on the Pi 5. Uh, so the Evo Select 128 had a really good random read speed, 4220, and a random write speed of 818, which wasn't that impressive. Uh, especially when you compare to the Kingston Canvas Go, which the random write speed was 1,521. That's still one of my go-to cards. But let's see what we've got on this. So I've already run one test, and so far it's looking very impressive. The random read speed is the best I've ever had on an SD card by a long way. The random write speed is very respectable, and the sequential write speed is very good as well. Uh, but I always do three tests and then pick the best one. So let's reset that and run tests and show log so still consistent on yeah still consistent overall getting quicker on the random read speed which is amazing and do the diagnostics again reset run tests so very consistent across the sequential write speed uh, around about 55,000 the random write speed 232423 and the random read speed 6,709, 6,846 was the best one, and 6,524. So overall, only because I've always done the same, I'm gonna keep this one, so get rid of the others. But they are consistent. So let's see how that looks in with all the other results. Now it's only the top two that are on Pi 5, so this is the Evo Select, the most recent one I've done. Uh, so 46,315. Sequential write speed was 55,727 on this new Pro Plus. Random read speed, I'm still amazed at that, 6846 compared to 4220. And random write speed, 818, which was disappointing on the Evo Select compared to 2493 on this new Pro Plus. So by far the fastest SD card I've tested so far. But bear in mind that the Kingston Canvas Go Plus, let's put it up close to them, was I think the most consistent overall. So what I think I'm gonna do, uh, which is what I don't normally do, I'm gonna put a fresh copy of Raspberry Pi OS on this one, just out of interest really. Um, but bearing in mind, I did get this card the 3rd of June, 2020, and I have used it on various different operating systems. Uh, it was last used with Droid OS on the Orange Pi 5, but I'm gonna give it a try and see how those results are. But in the results, I'll put that it's, uh, not a new card. I've done that once before actually with one of the SanDisks that I had in my GoPro. Well unfortunately it's not working. Uh, so this is where it is and it says warning error f-syncing closing dev mmc blk 0p1 input output error and I've written this operating system three or four times, done it on my Mac twice, done it on my Pi, uh, tried it on my Pi 5, tried it on my Pi 4, I can't get it to work. So this card seems to be faulty, uh, which is a shame. I don't get a lot of faulty SD cards, but this one has failed. I might give it a go and see if I can revive it somehow. But for now, I'm gonna go with a SanDisk Extreme Pro, which I've had for about the same time. So let's write the OS to it. Okay, so good news, the SanDisk has worked and it seems to be still pretty consistent. Uh, so we can see that sequential write speed, 63,000. Uh, 59,000 and 62,000, so pretty pretty stable. 
random write speed 1037, 1041 and 1024. So happy with that. And the random read speed, pretty good. 2520, 2956 and 2923. So the best result, I'm going with this one, because again, I'm not worried about sequential write speed, but that is definitely where we're getting the much faster speeds. So compared to its previous result on the Pi 4, it's definitely a lot faster on sequential write speed. 38,000 becomes 59,000. Random write speed is about the same. It's better, but it's about the same, 1,041, compared to 969. And uh, random read speed, 2956, so a reasonable improvement on that compared to 2548. Again, this is a used card. Let's put that in there. Shame about the Kingston because I really wanted to try that. I might order another one of those because it was, it was a good card. Uh, or I might try and revive it. I've tried all sorts of things with my Mac, with Linux, uh, with Windows, and I can't get it to work. Although I'm currently writing uh, KDE Plasma onto it because I'm wondering if an operating system that's already been started up might be okay. So the Samsung Pro Plus is to date the fastest SD card I've had on a Raspberry Pi 5. Really impressed with the performance. Let me know if you've got an SD card that's faster because yeah, that is that is really good. Trying KDE Plasma on this SD card. This is the results and it's been doing it for about five minutes. So yeah, the cards definitely are gonna. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.